when I was 19, so 22, 23 years ago, I actually spent nine months on the streets of Orlando, Florida. And the way I ended up there was, I was in the Navy at the time, stationed in Mayport, which is right out of Jacksonville, uh, on a guided missile destroyer, the USS DDG-38 Luce. And um, my mother got cancer, and I was basically the only person who could come back and take care of her. Because growing up, my mother and I were the, basically only had each other. So, it, you know, you never can do anything quickly in the military. So it took me two or three months to get out. And by the time I got out, my mother had lost her apartment. She was in a hospital. They moved her into hospice. And so I went back, and I didn't have a place to stay. And the kicker is that my grandmother lived in Orlando at the time. And I had gone back saw my grandmother and said, you know, I'm here to take care of mom. And my mother was in, had, had her issues. She was an alcoholic, um, prescription drugs, the whole nine yards. Really depressed after she got divorced. And I don't think she ever recovered from it. So, you know, my, when I went to, to talk to my grandmother about it, my grandmother said that my mother basically had made her own bed and that she was there to support her, but she didn't support my getting out of the military. So she cut me off. She just didn't want to have anything that could do anything for you. So I asked her, I said, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? I don't have a job. I don't have a place to stay. I'm here to take care of my mother, your daughter, who's, you know, fighting cancer. And my grandmother thought it was funny to say that she heard that there was a, they served good split pea soup on Wednesdays at the shelter downtown. So that was the first time I really, truly realized that, you know, family could reject you, that, that you can feel those feelings of abandonment even when you have people who love you.